26. The KWWL's Justin Andrews is live for us tonight in Iowa City. And Justin, while investigators here are releasing any new details just yet, media outlets in China actually spoke with Xiao's family. Yeah, man, of that, according to a University of Iowa Chinese international journalism student who's been following the headlines over in China about this case since it broke. She translated a Chinese article for us that said Xiao's family is now most concerned about the truth. The death of Tong Xiao was still making headlines over in China nearly a week after police confirmed it was the 20-year-old's body found in the trunk of her car. We feel really sad about it. Like. That's what international journalism student Sewen Wong says these Chinese articles are saying. She says these newspaper headlines read, female student confirmed killed, her male friend Li is in Wenzhou. The writer spoke with Xiao's family. Well, her family just want to find the, uh, the, the killer as soon as possible. Wong says Xiao's family goes on to say they are now most concerned about the truth and wouldn't say anything else. They just don't want to talk don't want to get interviewed, don't want to talk about it because they feel so sad about their child. Wong says the article goes on to say the reporter reached out to the family of Xiangnan Li, the person of interest as well, but they said they did not know anything of his whereabouts. The reporter also got in contact with Li's father, and he said, quote, I don't want to be interviewed. Wong says media outlets in China are calling him a main suspicious person. Her boyfriend is a main suspicious uh, person, and they're still looking for him. A lot of people are... Uh, wanna call people to find him like that. Now, Amanda, at last check, police tell us they are not in a place right now in the investigation to call 23-year-old Xiangnan Lee a suspect or to seek extradition. We are still waiting on the autopsy results, and um, I spoke with the Johnson County Medical Examiner's Office. They tell me that could be weeks before we get that information. We've got you covered live in Iowa City. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News.